everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Mateo and I am from Machine Masters. Today I'm going to discuss a really cool tool referred to as Match EQ. Now, Match EQ is a really cool function that I loved when I was using Logic Pro because uh, it was actually an EQ that came with the DAW. Unfortunately, there is no Match EQ that comes with Pro Tools, but it was a really great utility and it was very handy when it came to instances of recording vocals in different studios, which sometimes unfortunately happens, like in the case that I had with this particular song that I was producing. So today, I'm gonna show you how I took two different takes that were done in two different spaces and tried matching the tonal quality of the two vocals so that way the new vocals meshed in well with the originals. Now the reason why this even happened to begin with was because I wanted to try out a different direction with the vocals for a portion of the last chorus. So what I'll do now is I'll play the two different vocals, the old one and the new one, and you can hear the dramatic difference in the tone. So here's the old one. There's more than one way to get home. And now here's the new vocal. There's more than one way to get home. So it sounds dramatically different. And the crazy thing is, is that both of these old and new vocals were recorded with the exact same hardware, same microphone, same mic pre, same interface. The only thing that was different was the room in which the artist recorded in. And the reason why the rooms were different was because during the production of this song, the artist actually moved to a different place. So they didn't have the same room that they were using before. Now this room sounds much duller. The point is that the tonality is way too different to have it fit in naturally in the song. So here comes the match EQ. Instead of having to manually try to match all the frequencies to try to get the same tone, which would take me maybe not too long, but longer than I'd care in case, you know, there's a whole lot of back and forth. So I got this great plug in a while back that I believe was a collaborative effort with Eventide and Newfangled Audio. So I'll pull it up now for you to see. So this right here is a graphic EQ. I don't normally use graphic EQs, but for a scenario like this where there is going to be a lot of fine tuning required for very narrow bands, this comes in handy and this allows you to set the EQ from anywhere from one band to 26 bands. But we're going to focus on this match EQ function, which is awesome. So I've set up this EQ on my new vocals. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bus my old vocals to this EQ and it's going to map out its frequency spectrum. So I'm gonna go to my old vocal and I'm going to pick a bus that is available. So I'm gonna go with bus 10. Now I'm gonna bring the fader all the way up to Unity, so zero, and then I'm gonna set this bus to pre. And what pre means is that it is not going to be affected by the volume of the track or its mute or solo status. So that means I can mute the old vocal and listen to the new vocal, but still get the signal from the old vocal because it's bypassing its fader. The other important thing you want to do when performing this process is that you want to make sure all your plugins are deactivated on the original vocal. So that way you're not getting a processed version of the vocal. You're getting the raw vocal, its original tonal uh, quality. Now we're going to go to the new vocals. We're going to pull up the EQ and we're going to select its key input, which will be bus 10 because that's where we're sending the original vocals to. Next, we need to select match EQ. And from here, all we have to do is hit play. Actually, I'm just going to mute the old vocal like I said I would. So now we just hit play and it will start applying the frequency response of the original vocal to the new vocal. Path 
that lead you home and we all have our own way to go and i hope you take that road great so once i've got the balance close to where i want i then select match eq again to take it out of match eq mode and this will allow me to make fine tune adjustments to the EQ. Now, I definitely don't need all these sub frequencies, so I'm just gonna roll all those out. Now let's take a listen again with and without the EQ. There's more than one way to get home. There's more than one path that leads you home. Okay, so there's a whole lot that's different there. Definitely very, very different. And I mean, you can see that here on the graph. Now let's compare the old vocal to the new vocal. There's more than one way to get home. There's more than one path that leads you home. Now there's clearly still a difference, but it's closer to where I want to be. It sounds a little nasally right now, but I can adjust that by adjusting some of the presence here and some of the mids, but this gives me a good starting point and I can fine tune from here. Okay, so after everything is said and done and I've gotten the EQ the way I wanted to and processed it and tuned all the vocals, this is the two vocals back to back. So here are the new vocals and then going into what the old vocals are because I didn't change the second half of it and it should sound relatively seamless. So let's take a listen. Awesome. So there's still some difference, but thankfully for this match EQ, it made EQing these vocals much easier and less time consuming. And this sort of practice can be applied to other instances where you need to perform some restorative functions. You can use this not just on vocals, but also on any other sort of live instrumentation. Basically, any time you record an instrument in a live room, if that room changes, but you've still got the same instrument and you want to match that presence, this will help you. It won't be perfect all the time, but it'll get you much closer to where you want to get it to. So I hope you found this informative and hopefully for those of you that don't have a match EQ, maybe try one out. This newfangled EQ is really great. Or for you Logic Pro users, you'll actually have a match EQ that comes stock with your DAW. So try it out, play with it, and uh, see what you think of it. Thanks again to all of you that checked out this tutorial. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about what we covered in this tutorial, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, also leave that in the comment section below. As always, please like and share this video and subscribe to Machine Masters to keep up with all our latest tutorials. Thank you everyone, have a great day.